Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my three high castle gate or portcullis gate. Now, if you want a more simple design, I'll have a link to a more simple design in the description below. However, on that design, I know a few people were asking me to make a castle gate that is one more higher than two. So we click this button right here. Our castle gate opens up. As you can see, it is three high instead of two. So if I go right here in the middle, I can jump up and down. And we can walk inside of our castle gate, click this button, and it will close from the other side. Now, what this lever does right here is it will lock the castle gate so people on the other side can no longer open up the castle gate. So if you're on the inside, you can still open up the castle gate just fine. And you can close the castle gate just fine. However, the people on the outside of your castle, like so, cannot do anything while that lever is down so let's just start building this thing guys it's actually a fairly simple build it's a bit tall but that's what happens when you make the gate bigger than two all right guys so i'm going to be making my castle gate six blocks long now you can make this castle gate up to 15 blocks long you can't do any more than 15 you can go from one to 15 so i'm going to be making mine six so any more if you want to make yours bigger you're going to need more redstone so on and so forth so for this build we're going to need a 10 by five spacing we're also gonna have to dig down six however we do need to dig down seven in just one area so make sure you have enough room to dig down seven now for this build we're going to need 20 sticky pistons 20 regular pistons one hopper one dropper one redstone comparator 26 redstone repeaters 10 redstone torches 55 redstone dust two buttons three levers 24 nether brick fence now you can use whatever you want you can use cobblestone fence you can use regular fence you can use blocks if you want to however i think fences is the best way to go because it looks mostly like a castle gate you can even use iron bars too that might not look too bad we're also going to need 24 pieces of sand we're going to need one stone slab actually i think we need two stone slabs get two stone slabs just in case because i actually forget about that this is just going to be blocks i'm going to be putting my redstone down on we're probably not going to need this many i just grabbed colors because i like colors and we're going to need some blocks of choice i'm going to be using sandstone so let's start building this thing guys all right guys so before we actually get started off with this this right here is going to be the front of your gate so see those two stone blocks over there? Those are going to be the inside of your gate. And right here is going to be the outside of your gate. So I just want to get that clarified in case you guys, you know, don't want to build the whole thing and then make it so, you know, it, you can lock it from the outside of your gate. That would make no sense whatsoever. All right, guys. So once you've gotten your 10 by 5 spacing and you've dug down your 6, come to the bottom left-hand corner. We're going to put a block right here. And then on top of this block, we're going to go ahead and put a lever. Now, this lever is going to stay here forever. The reason why that lever is going to stay there forever is because just in case our build breaks, in case your uh, gate breaks, I'm going to show you how to fix it just in case that happens. So the coming out of the block with the lever on it, we're going to put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay put a block in front of the repeater with a torch coming off the block next what i want you to do is coming off the top of this torch we're going to put a repeater going this way and we're going to dig down our block this is the only spot we're going to have to dig down seven dig down this block right here and put a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it then coming off the left hand side of the piston we're going to put redstone dust right here and then coming out of this redstone dust going into the block that has our torch right there we're going to put a repeater on three ticks delay so one two and three like that Next, what we're going to do is coming out of our torch right here, we're going to go this way six blocks with redstone. Like I said, my gate's going to be six blocks long. If you want to make yours longer, this is where you're going to make it longer. If you want to make it shorter, this is the spot where you're going to be making it shorter. So mine's six long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you want to make your seven, then it'll be seven, eight, you know, so on and so forth. Then coming out of all this redstone dust, we're going to put repeaters going this way on one tick delay. Put a block in front of all your repeaters. Put torches on top of all your blocks and then put blocks on top of all your torches so there we go next what i want you to do is swing over here and we're going to turn this repeater off so make sure your torches over here are on and these repeaters are off and we're going to swing to the backhand side and we're going to put two rows of sticky pistons here they should extend up so one two they have all extended up and then we're going to put a row of regular pistons on top of your sticky pistons like this so that should make a double piston extender for us so if we flip down this lever way down and if we flip it up it double extends up so let's flip it down uh you know what? leave it up for now leave it up like this for now so if yours didn't do that if yours didn't do this 
then you did something wrong and you're going to have to go back so make sure it's up in this position next what we're going to do is come back to this torch right here that should be off right now put a block right above it put a torch above the block put a block above the torch and now we're going to take out our hopper and dropper so take out your dropper and hopper and then right next to this block going off the left hand side we're going to put a dropper facing upwards like this so it should look something like that then we're going to put a uh, hopper going right into the top of it so boop like that and then go inside your dropper and put one item in there it doesn't really matter i'm just going to put a piece of redstone dust like that just put one item in there so now our hopper and dropper in so we no longer need our hopper and droppers anymore then coming oh what did i just do okay <laughs> then coming out of our hopper we're going to put a comparator going towards our pistons right here we no longer need our comparators there we go and then we're going to put three rows of blocks right next to these pistons so one two and three like that then coming out of this comparator we're going to put a repeater going this way on one tick delay and then going into all these regular pistons right here we're going to put repeaters on one tick delay and then we're going to hook redstone dust up to all of them so there we go so now we should be making our triple piston extension so if i flip down this lever it'll go all the way down and then when i flip it up one two and three like that and there's our triple piston extender right there so we flip this down for now so make sure it's in its down position take out your sand blocks and put three rows of sand in so one two and three like that so now you can see my sand blocks are flush to the floor so see how it's completely flush to the floor right here perfect so now we can test it out one more time so click it up it triple piston extends up and then we flip it down and it extends all the way back down beautiful so now we're going to put in our top pistons and our fence gates so take out your fence gates and we're going to put in four rows of fence gates right here so right above your sand blocks too right above, right above your sand blocks so one two three and number four like that so make sure you go up four and then we're going to take out our block of choice i'm going to be using smooth sandstone and put a block of choice right above the fence gates as well so there we go then i want you to do is go all the way back down here again flip down your lever so it extends your gate all the way up and then flip it back down there we go oh yeah you know what i also forgot before we move on i'm going to show you in case it breaks now when your pistons are extended down like this do not place any blocks near any of these bottom pistons or else they will break so i'm going to show you so we put a block here and as you can see it is broken now so when i flip this lever all this sand on the top is going to break right there the top layer right there is going to break so ready and then i flip it down and it breaks the sand see how it broke the top layer of sand so we don't want that happening so the only way to fix this is make sure this repeater right here is on so flip your lever so that repeater is on then the second layer of pistons right here that are extended delete those delete the pistons and then just put them back in right above the sticky pistons like this and there you go now the whole entire thing is fixed so all we have to do is just add our sand blocks back in and that's what happens if it breaks if it breaks that's how you fix it that's the reason why I left that lever there. Just in case your friend decides, you know, I'm going to spam the button a million times and breaks it. You'll know how to fix it just in case that happens. So now that we know how to fix it, we're going to go back up here next to where our gate went upwards. And we're going to go up four more blocks from here. So one, two, three, four, delete the three middle blocks. And then we're going to put a row of blocks going all the way down along the side of our gate. And then right here is where we're going to add in our sticky pistons. So we're going to do one row of sticky pistons here. So one. And then we're going to do two rows of regular pistons. So one, two, ooh, like that. There we go. So the top row is going to be sticky. These are sticky. And then these two rows are normal pistons. And then we can go ahead and delete these blocks right here. And then we're going to come back to these once we get our power with our buttons from over here. So next, what I want you to do is just add in your flooring right here. We can just add a little bit of our castle gate flooring just like this because this will help us in the long run when we're doing this. So let's just add this little flooring in right here and right here like that and now we're going to go ahead and put you know let's go one more let's go one more <laughs> just so it's even there we go so now we're going to add in our button so this is going to be like i said this is going to be the front of your gate where this hopper is is the front of your castle gate and that side's the inside of your castle gate so find your sand blocks so see where my sand blocks are we're just going to come up a block right here and you know what? i'm going to make it two different colors we're going to put a block out here and a block out here and these are where our buttons are going to be going one here and one here we no longer need our buttons at all and then we're going to come two blocks up above this button right here. So one, two, and then another lever is going to go right here. 
for our lockout switch. So it should look something like this. This is the outside of your gate right here. So it should look something like that over there. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook up our buttons to the bottom area. Since we've already finished the bottom, we might as well hook them up. So what we're gonna do is come right underneath our buttons, one block, so one like that, and one like that. And we're gonna go ahead and put redstone dust here and here. So if I click the button, the redstone dust comes on. And if I click the button on that side, the redstone dust will come on as well. Then we're gonna come out one more block, one, two, and then come down a block in between them and put redstone dust along all these blocks. Then what we're gonna do is come up here where our lever is, where we have our lockout switch. I'm gonna come out a block right here with redstone dust. And as you see, if I flip down the lever, the redstone dust comes on, flip it up, the redstone dust goes off. And we're gonna put a sticky piston right here facing downwards off this block with a block here and that's going to be our lockout switch so if i click this button right here as you can see it cuts off the redstone so if i click this button the redstone does nothing it's going into nothing and this side the redstone will activate our entire build so that's how the whole lockout switch works so let's just flip this up make sure your lockout switch is off for now then on the inside where our lockout switch is we're going to come down a block from here so boop boop like you know let's use a different color just so we don't get a little bit confused here. So there's our buttons and everything in our lockout switch. Then we're just gonna come down a block right here and we're gonna put a piece of redstone dust like that. And then coming out of this redstone dust, we're gonna put a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it. And we're gonna come back to this later. This is going to activate our top pistons up here. But what we wanna do is come down one more from this block right here. So come down one. And we're gonna put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay. Put a block in front of our four tick delay repeater a block underneath this block right here, delete the middle block, come down another block right here with two pieces of redstone dust like that, so it looks something like that. And then coming out of this block with the redstone dust, we're gonna put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay. So now that should activate our bottom sticky piston. So we click this button, it goes up, and it goes down. I'll do it one more time. Click the button, it goes up, and it goes down. And like I said, if the lockout switch is down, then the outside button will not do anything. See how it's not doing anything anymore? Beautiful. All right, guys, and last but not least is to add the redstone to our top sticky pistons. Now, this part is actually the easiest part. So we're just gonna come right back over here where we added this piston with our sand block. And we're just gonna come out one block this way. Oh, not a sticky, one block this way. And put a repeater coming out of the sand block on one tick delay. Put a block in front of our repeater with redstone dust on top of it. Put a block right above this one tick delay repeater. So just go into sneak mode and put a block right above it with a sticky piston facing off the top words up top of this block with a block on top of the sticky piston. So it looks something like that. And then four sand blocks off this. So one, two, three, four. Then coming out from this way, we're going to put a block with a repeater and then a block up next to the back of our repeater with a lever underneath this block. So put your lever underneath it and then flip it on so this repeater is on all the time. Then we're gonna put a block over here on this side of our sand and put a piece of redstone dust here. Put a block to the left-hand side of your dust. Oh, we need our torches. Put a torch on top of the block, a block on top of the torch, a torch on top of the block, a block on top of the torch like that. So now from the outside of our gate, it looks something like this. Next, what we're going to do is put another torch all the way down here where that redstone dust is off this side like that. Put a block on top of the torch, a torch to the side, and then we're gonna take out our blocks of choice. So take out your sandstone or whatever you're using and put a row of blocks right here and put redstone dust all along them connecting to this torch right here. Next, what we're gonna do is coming from this off torch right here, we're just gonna put a line of blocks going all the way down our bottom row sticky pistons, like our bottom row regular pistons, like so. And then we're gonna put a piece of redstone dust coming out of this off torch, put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay with redstone dust in front of all of it, like that. Next, what we're gonna do is off the top block that's above our off torch, we're gonna put another row of blocks going all the way down our top row of pistons like that. Then what we're going to do is put a piece of redstone dust up here with two repeaters going this way, the first one on four ticks, the second one on two ticks, and then put redstone dust going down the whole entire thing. And then we're gonna come over here on the inside and we're gonna put three blocks right here and one up on top of this piston and put two pieces of redstone dust going like this and another repeater right here on two ticks delay like that. And we are completely done, you guys. So if we click this button right here, our gate closes click the button again our gate opens up 
and now all we have to do is just clean it up so take out whatever block of choice you're using now the one reason i like this one as well is because the outside is only one wide as you can see i completely can conceal it like this it is comes out only one wide on the outside of your gate so it looks very nice so let's just yes it look it looks very nice <laughs> let's just put all our uh blocks in so i usually like coming down all the way down to here like this with my blocks so we still have that like one overhang right here in the middle so it looks really nice and we just clean it up and like i said if you want to extend it out you know just extend it out from uh here like you know you just keep bringing it out more and more if you want to bring it out 15 then you bring out these blocks 15 right here you bring out these ones 15 you bring out your pistons 15 and you do the same things right down here if you want to make it go out further you just do the same thing over and over again guys it's nothing difficult to expand your castle gate if you don't know how to do that so we're just going to keep cleaning her up until we are done cleaning it up <laughs> so let's put some blocks there let's put some blocks over here there we go let's put some blocks over there here we go and there you guys have it everything is completely concealed also if you want to what i like to usually do is i like to put some glowstone usually up here in some areas just to light her up a little bit like this you can go ahead and do that if you want to but you don't have to do that like up here we can go up inside our build uh let's just break right in <laughs> where is it i know it's somewhere in here uh where mm, which road did i do it on one two up so one right here there we go I, I like to make sure everything is even <laughs> even inside my tutorials even though it doesn't matter like that you can add some glowstone up there if you really want to but we are completely done so if i click this button our gate closes if i click the button again our gate opens up and then we can go on the inside and we can lock the inside with our little uh, lever right there click this button our gate closes and then obviously if we go outside while our lever is locked down we can't do anything from the outside of our castle gate so there you guys go that is how you build my three high castle gate or port colors gate if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest video all right guys peace